Welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. In the last episode, we just finished up at the movie theater after splicing all the films together and getting a golden pistol. <laughs> a very silly thing that I hope was worth it. It was worth it if it does more damage than the normal pistol. And it isn't just for, I don't know, coolness's sake. So... I'm just kind of trying to clean up some side quests and stuff like that before I continue with the main quest, which is, I think, to go to the boat now that we have the keys that we got from the monastery. But I'm trying to do everything before that because that feels like the end of the game, so next thing to do, give the coat, the warm coat, to the homeless person. That was weird that that suddenly closed. Here you go. See if this fits. See, that's nice, real nice. Maybe you're a good one after all. Show me that map again. This ought to help you on your travels. Okay, what's new? What is new? What? What's different? It looks the same to me, unless maybe all they did was just kind of put on the overworld map a little bit, like sort of overlaid that onto it so you could see it like it's some sort of an idea where these different places will take you once you're topside. If so, then that didn't really do anything useful, to be honest. I don't think. Tell you what, instead of my living like some scavenger out here, I could use a way to fend for myself. That lake out there's full of fish. If I had a rod and reel, I could feed myself. Teach a man to fish and all that, right? You bring me that rod, and I'll show you another shortcut. Okay, so let's see if I can find one. Find a fishing rod. Oh, also, one of the shadow symbols is down here, yeah. Another shadow symbol. But what does it mean? But once again, I need another one of those things to put in here. I don't have anything. Hmm, I think it just unlocked Chastain Heights. Yeah, I tried to come back to the homeless person through Chastain Heights, and I couldn't do it because I could get down here, but this door here was locked from this side. But I just got to this door from the other side, which was locked before, and now it opens. Which means I, I guess it's just going to stay unlocked. All right, so we just open up a nice shortcut. I'm just kind of checking out every question mark on the map because I don't really know what they correspond to. They don't go away even after you've done them. They just always indicate that there was something of interest there. So I'm at this one, which is where we saw all the shadow sigils on the map, and I just noticed that I think I can light these candles. Which probably just means that I then don't have to use the UV light, so they all light up at the same time. Looks like the candle to reveal hidden symbols. Oh, and that just revealed the... is it the fifth one? Yeah. The quest wanted me to find five, and I remember before that I could only see four on the map. Well, there's the fifth one. Also, I just realized that I can place the sigil eye thing that I got from doing the shadow sigil inside of this room? I can place it on the map. What does that do? Uh, I guess I could put it on top of its appropriate symbol. Ah, oh, okay. So that answers what I do with them. I was wondering about that. It's probably not going to do anything until I get all of them though, right? Yeah. So that doesn't actually help, but at least I know where they go. Right, well, I was going to check out the rest of the question marks, but I'm already over here, and I think I want to check out this area. This is the almost entirely unexplored area that should lead to the boat somewhere. I see a lot of docks, but I'm guessing the dock that our boat's at is probably the top leftish one? I would assume it's the most far away one. But, yeah, there's a lot here, so I could find a lot of things that I maybe need. Like, the sigil things that I need to actually do the sigils. 
So let's just go this way. The, the game isn't just going to suddenly end without any warning. Yeah, also the enemies are doing that inexplicable thing where they just refuse to attack me, so... Don't need to worry about them. Yep, I have not gone down this road. I, I don't think I've gone past right about here. And a shotgun, although I'm not going to take that shotgun, actually. This looks like one of those weird paintings. I think that's five out of six. Uh, yeah, I can only hold two things at one time, and I'm not dropping my golden gun ever, because I'm sure I won't find anything that fancy again. So I'm going to leave the shotgun. I don't have much ammo for it anyway. Um, oh, shit. Remember the question I had a while ago of whether you get the ammo back when you drop a weapon? You don't. I know that because I had a couple shots of shotgun ammo, and now that I dropped the shotgun, it's gone. Anyway, I had very little. And again, I'm pretty certain I can't unload it. There's five shots in this thing. Can I really not unload it? I... Is there like a special key? I was scared for a second, and then I remembered they can't attack me. Right? Yeah. I feel like they want me to take that bottle of water, but I can't. It's like specially illuminated. They put a damn spotlight on the thing. Photograph of the docks. I don't know what the heck it says in the top left. It just looks like tiny scribbles to me. like this was a special place to somebody. Silent Hill Senior Bowling League. Some uh, first place award presented to Patrick Weirden. Saturday, May 7th, 1995. Very hard to read. The 23rd annual bull o -Rama Championship Tournament, I think it says. Okay, so that place in the photograph, the docks, is a special place to Patrick Weirden. Not sure what to do with that information. It's another bottle. By the way, I'm quite hurt and I have no medkits. Kellerman and Fox Funeral Services. Funeral announcement. You are cordially invited to attend the funeral for Allison Elaine Weirden. 1923 to 1999. Memori 
Memorial services will be conducted at 11 a.m. Tuesday morning, November 9th, 1999 at the Perkins Funeral Home, followed by graveside services at Monroe's, Monroe Cemetery at 1 p.m. So I think that was their wife. Scatter their ashes at their special place. Oh. Okay. Why didn't the husband do it? I mean, I'm guessing the husband's dead, because it seems like almost everybody <laughs> is dead. But they died a while ago, right? What year is it? Because they died in 1999. This, this is newer than 1999, right? Is it? I actually have no idea of the date. Maybe it is 1999, actually. I don't remember seeing any cell phones. I have a walkie-talkie, but, I mean, <laughs> those existed in 1999. Hmm. Oh, wow. Amp bridge. Is this going to electrocute me if I do it wrong? What the hell? This is the strangest safe I've ever seen. I'll mess with that in a minute. Okay. Is this something I should wait till I scatter the ashes for? Would that somehow help? If I need numbers, I do have that memorial service announcement thing. There were lots of dates and times and stuff. So it's five digits. How do I, like... I don't get the amperage thing. Oh, whoa. That just changed three of them? What the hell? The amperage doesn't seem to... Wait, is it going down? Oh, it... Oh, 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 oh. What's my goal here? Are there multiple puzzles then? Is the puzzle to find the number and then figure out how to enter it? Yeah, I don't think I have the information I need to solve this. I got... Every number matched up, one to one, two to two, and it didn't, like, that wouldn't make much sense as the solution, and not surprisingly, it didn't work. And I don't understand why the knobs move so weirdly. Some, moves in, some move in groups of two, and that one knob changes all three, but all the other knobs only change themselves. It's really weird. Anyway, moving on. Ah, oh, yes! I desperately need that. Ah. Hmm. It's a big open gate down there. I have no idea where that's going to take me. Let's go! Is that a fishing bowl? Oh, heck yeah.
Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is leading me back to uh, the subway. Well, I guess that means I can go this this way now, from the other side. And also kind of perfect, because now I can go back to the homeless person and give him the fishing rod. Probably a door that was locked from the other side. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Maybe once I give him the fishing rod, that'll just magically unlock the door? Hope they're still afraid of me. Uh, I don't... Oh, yeah. Yep, they are. Oh, wait. Are you? Yeah. Footsteps. Must lead to something good. They are facing this direction. Ew. Sounds like there's enemies in here. And creepy whispering. A <laughs> shady backroom like poker table thing. With one of those intense interrogation style lamps. Aces and eights. The dead man's hand. <laughs> they get their hand crushed in a vice? His heart was ripped out of his chest? I love the way Murphy said that, like, why the hell would somebody do that? His heart was ripped out of his chest? Oh, that's- I just realized that's one of the prisoners. Yeah. They're wearing the prison uniform. I need to find the heart. I guess I'm gonna put it back in them when I find it? <laughs> Basement, yay. Let me guess. Dolls. Basements always have dolls. Okay. Is that their heart I can hear beating? Something over there. They might. I think they're ignoring me down here too. I do want to take them out anyway. They're dead, dead. I 
just kind of attacking the air. So these ones down here seem to die as soon as they're down. One's topside always requires them post downing, uh, stabbing, or stomping. I think the heart's getting louder. Oh yeah. That's it. Human heart. Yay. I think these things will avoid me as well. I think they noticed. I think I'm still safe. Nonetheless, I want to get the hell out of here. Uh, oh, oh, mm. Yep, they're backing up. Yeah. Too close for comfort. Mm. I do not remember the way out of here. at least being pretty sure that I wasn't in any real danger. That was still scary. Especially because I'm always scared that even if they don't come towards me, I, I worry that when I get close to them, like when I touch them, they might attack me. Place is just a maze. I know the way out, but I'm curious if the same thing I missed. Kinda. A fire axe, pretty good weapon. What exactly is going to happen when I give them their heart back? Hmm. Telltale heart, bronze trophy. They're sitting on a med kit. I guess I put their soul to rest, maybe. I didn't actually finish exploring this place either. Right, we came from here. This That's the door out. Came over here, went to the left. That's all that stuff. So what's this way? Dead end. I want to try to open up that shortcut before I get too far into there. I like to be able to travel easily between places. So let's give them the fishing rod. Do. Yeah. 
Yeah, that'll do just fine. Go and show me that map one more time. There you go. That's all I have to show you. Good luck, friend. Hope you find your way home. That sounded so sarcastic. Okay, so probably just Port District that's been opened up. Let me try going there. Wait a second, that didn't take me to where I thought it would. I just popped out of there, Port District, and uh, I'm way up here. Last I was down there beneath the King Avenue Bridge. Hmm. Well, it's probably not that far away, right? Yeah. So disconcerting not to explore the place, like, totally naturally, starting from one direction and continuing. Are you going to try to attack me? No, it seems like if they're bugged like that, they're just stuck like that for the entire session. Even if you go into buildings, come out of buildings, whatever. Yeah, let's... Actually, let's go in here. Just because it'll make the game safe. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go back to where we left off, at around the bottom of the King Avenue Bridge, and explore the rest of, I guess this whole place is Port District.